All right, what is important? All right, all of us need to understand what is important. All right, please. We're gonna, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna go to a passage of scripture, and I want to come back up here now. Um, the, the thing that I want to bring to you this evening is a simple one. But before I do, where, where's the young lady that plays the music so eloquent? Where is she? Can I have her up here? Come here, dear. I'm going to take you back to Jamaica. <laughs> well, you can play good. Stop her. She... See, music is in our blood. We, we just love music. And so when I heard her, I don't even know if she knows the song I'm going to sing. But just touch, no, you go on the, the thing and touch something for me. Oh boy. Um, Lord, I lift your name on high. Do you know that song? You guys don't know that song? Yes. Yeah. But maybe the ear, alright? You can try it in the ear. Because one day, I heard a songwriter say, 
Death has a time to steal us away, to steal us and carry us away. Though it meant so much to you, it will not last forever. I I am married. I married once, well twice, but first time. <laughs> first time. I, I didn't know at the time that I would I would lose my wife at such a tender age. But the Lord knew better. She he, he took her, and I better be satisfied with it. I didn't know that more. We, we were not gonna last for fifty years. Uh, I didn't know. So I'm saying to us, friends, though she meant much to me, she she's not here today, meaning that it did not last forever. So I'm saying to the people of God in the house, though you're young, or, or, or you're, 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 you're near in your senior age, I'm saying to your friends, search for a meaning that will last. Search for something that will endure through life, will endure the hardships of life. Search for what is most meaningful to you so that at the end of the day you will hear from Jesus well done somebody say well done come on man talk to me well, well, well done. done somebody you see Jesus will say to us well done the good and faithful servant search for that meaning young people search for that meaning in Jesus that will last throughout eternity now the word meaning and let me look at forever first the word forever speaks to last in time Things that last forever. Things that will, will, will take you beyond this life. It talks about eternally or forevermore. Search for that meaning which will take you into eternity. Because everything that you are not having, everything that you are enjoying now, will one day part from you. But Jesus Christ will never part. Say amen. Jesus Christ will never depart from you. He will take you into eternity. So I'm saying to you, search for that meaning that will last you a lifetime on earth and in heaven. Search for it. You have it. Search for it and keep it because one day, one day it will take you into glory land. The word meaning speaks to something regarded, regarded as the inner significance. We want to talk about what, what is most significant to you. That inner significance. Who is most significant to you? Your, your son or your, or your husband? Your, your, your wife or your daughter? I'm saying to your friends, when you search out who is most significant to you, you are going to play that vital role. You are going to love that person. You are going to treat that person right because he is your significant. He's the one that has meaning to your life. He's the one that brings joy to you. He's the one that tickles you in your side and makes you laugh. He's the one that tells you I love you. He's the one that treat, that takes you out. He's the one that does everything that makes you happy. So he becomes or she becomes your significant one. Huh? But I said to you again, although he or she is significant, one day she will depart. One day he will depart. But when you take Jesus huh, as your significant, oh God Almighty, when you take Jesus as your significant one, huh, even through death he will stay with you. I heard a songwriter say, I will stay with you. But when problem comes, I will stay with you through your ups and your downs. But when problem comes, they run away. I'm saying Jesus will never Leave none of us. I heard the word said, I will never leave you, Brother Warner. I will never forsake you. I heard the word said, when your mother and your father forsake you, then I will take you. Hallelujah. And when Jesus take you, my people, I'm saying to you, he will guide you through your dark moments. So find the meaning that is significant to your life and hold on to it. Keep it close to you. Understand, tell Jesus sometimes. Tell Jesus sometimes that, listen Lord, you meant the word to me. When last had you said to Jesus, God or Jesus, you meant the word to me. Nine. When last you stop and you, you look to heaven above and you say, Lord, <laughs> you, you meant the word to me. Huh? When last you look in the eyes of Jesus and say, Lord, I love you more than anything else in the world. I'm saying to the people of God in the house, it's time for all of us to come together and love Jesus more than anything else in the world. Amen, church. Come on. It's Amen. time for us to come together and find that meaning oh, in Jesus and let it hold us until the end of time. Find a meaning that will last for 
forever. That will never leave you. Let's go to, to the book of, uh, 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 let's go to the book of um, Romans 6 and verse 22. I, I might have to cut it here because the time is going. But I want us to, to find out here something. Romans chapter 6 and verse 22. And you know what it said? I'm reading from the King James Version. So some of you, those of you who have your, your American style, read it for me. Read verse 22 for me. Just read the first line. Stop at the first comma you have. Read it for me. But now having been freed from sin and enslaved to God. What is it? Too fast. <laughs> but now I have been what? Free from sin. I've been made free from sin. Do you know how important it is to be made free from sin? Huh? Do you know the significant meaning behind that? To be free from sin. Can you understand what I'm saying here? To be free from sin, beloved, it meant more than having your wife or your children. Huh? Because your wife or your children could never save your soul. Huh? So to be free from your oh God, help me. to be free from your sins, beloved, it is more it is more significant than anything else in this world you can ever dream of or have. I heard Jesus say. What does it profit a man <laughs> to gain the whole world <laughs> and lose his soul? Can I talk to the people of God here now? Let me tell you something. If you, if you have four wives, you better not have more than one, do I'm just saying something here. If you have four wives and you die tomorrow in the name of Jesus, those wives could not, cannot take away your sins. But if you have no wife and you die with Jesus, glory to God. Your sins would be gone. So I'm saying to you, which is most, which is the most significant thing in your life? I'm saying to your friends, pay attention. See what is most significant. See what meant the word to you. And I'm saying love him. I'm saying cherish him. Because what? He died for your sins. So that we would do what? Continue reading. You've been freed from sin and enslaved to God. You derive your benefit resulting in sanctification and the outcome eternal. No, listen. You have been free from your sins, so now you become servants of God. That is the word that I want you to have. That is the word that you must pay attention to. Being a servant of God meant eternal life. Being a servant of God, you better see that as a word of good. <laughs> Hallelujah. Understand, friends, when you become the servant of God, there are two things that I want to identify from it as I seek to close. <laughs> two things when you are the servant of God. When you can stand up on your feet, my sister, and sing, I will serve him because I love him. He has given life to me. I was nothing before he found me. He has given life to me. I heard some writer continues to say, heart takes, broken pieces, ruined lives were why he died on Calvary. Oh, I was nothing before he found me. He has given life to me. Can you understand what it means to be the servant of God? Mm. Can you understand what it is to be the servant to president, uh, what's the president name again? <laughs> Obama. Uh, can you imagine you, you are, you are, you are working for Obama. You have everything to your disposal. Everything. Because you, you, you are working for the, for the, 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 the greatest leader in the world. Do you know how, how meaningful that is? Do you know how significant that is? I wish I was working for him. Uh, <laughs> Why would I say that? I'm saying working for Obama is, is cool. But I'm saying being the servant of Jesus Christ is far more greater, my brother. Say amen, church. Come on. Being the servant of God is far more greater because two things will happen. Two things will happen being the servant of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let that, let that go with us from here. The, me the meaning of being a servant of Jesus Christ is very significant. A meaning that lasts. Being a servant of Jesus Christ. Let it last. Two things. He said, not only, I'll read it, the King James Version here, but now being made free from sins and, be and become servants to God. Two things. One, ye have your, ye have your fruits into holiness. You now become holy. You now become righteous. I don't know. Read, read that section again. Mine said holy. What yours said? 
Sanctification. Sanctification. You are sanctified. You have been saved. Your sins have been washed away because what? You are now the servant of the Lord Jesus Christ. Your sins can never be washed away until you become the servant of the Lord Jesus Christ. So I'm saying to your friends, it is very important to be the servant of God. And so those of us who don't want to give respect to being the servant of God, I'm saying, friends, we are not understanding the meaning of it. Is. We are not understanding what it means to be the servant of the Lord Jesus Christ. It means that your sins have been washed away. And the fact that your sins have been washed away, you know what's coming next? What it is? What is it, my brother? Eternal life. Eternal life. Beloved, those two things, no one else could have done it for us. Those two things, no one else could have taken us to that point. But the, the Lord, our Savior, He made the way possible for us to become His servant so that we can be holy and we can be ushered into eternal glory. So it is very important to be the servant of God. You could be the wife of Mr. Obama. You could be the husband of his wife. It is not important as being the servant of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is not important to be called a servant of Jesus Christ. So whatever you're going through, whatever you're facing, whatever hardships that will come your way, remain the servant of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Whatever you will stumble over, whatever fear you will face in life, I'm saying to your friends, stay faithful to Jesus. It is meaningful to stay search and faithful to him. It is meaningful to remain his servant until he said, come home my child. It's the last mile you have tried. My encouragement to you today, find that meaning that will last forever, young people. My encouragement to you today, senior people that are here in front of me, find and, and keep that meaning that will last forevermore. Mm -hmm. Everything else will fail, but Jesus never fails. Mm -hmm. Eternity is real. Find that meaning and cherish that meaning until Jesus call you home and I home, or till he returns. And when he returns, such a meaning will give us what we are searching for. Mm -hmm. Keep searching until you find it. It's there for you. It's there for all of us. So the songwriter said, I will serve him because I love him. He has given life to me. I was nothing before I found it. You have given life to me. Heartaches, broken pieces, ruined lives.
Amen. Praise God. You may be seated. You may be seated.